come come join us a little closer. Hello everybody, uh, my name is uh, Tommy Clevenger. I'm the Civil Rights Director for the Council on American Islamic Relations here in Tampa. On behalf of myself, the Executive Director, Hassan Chibli, and the Care for the team, I want to thank everybody for coming to the office this morning. Um, as you all know, today a coalition of Muslim organizations sent, it, sent a letter to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to address its repeated use of notorious and self-proclaimed anti-Muslim bigot, um, Sam Cordova. He belongs to so-called Counterterrorism Operation Center. Uh, the FDLP routinely uses Cordova to provide training on counterterrorism techniques. Um, Cordova, as, uh, Cordova has no actual experience in counterterrorism operations, nor he does he have a degree even related to the subject or Islam. Um, we will provide you, if you haven't already have it, a copy of the letter we've sent to FDLE. And you'll have actually an opportunity to browse through the training manual that they use. Um, as you will see, part of training materials encourage police officers to aggressively profile and target Muslims. Uh, Cordova open, openly declares that Islam is radically violent and that all Muslims are violent. He repeatedly encourages police officers to view all Muslims in the community as with distrust and to treat them aggressively when they deal with them. With them. Um, Hassan Shibli will actually now provide you with the details of what our findings from the public records request from November 15th of last year were and what specifically we are demanding from the FDLP to correct this. Hassan, Hassan. 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 I ask you to do me a favor yes. since I'm not, I represent the three stations. Sure. Say your name and spell it. Sure. We'll do that. My name is Hassan Shibli. I'm Executive Director of CARE Florida, the Council on American Islamic Relations of Florida, also lead attorney for CARE Florida. Yeah. And the spelling is H A S S A N S H I B L Y. Can we get first? Oh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Tanya, go ahead. These things are very formal. We can cut and paste right um, So, my first name is T H A N I A, middle name Diaz, D I A Z, last name Clevenger, C L E V E N G E R. Can you, and then when, when you get up there, if you could just kind of reiterate yeah. some of what you, you will, said? We'll, we'll do that. Okay, thank you. So, thank you everybody for coming. We are here today to ask, why are our tax dollars being used to pay an individual with no creden credentials or qualifications to train our law enforcement to fear and hate Islam and Muslims? You know, it's completely outrageous that this kind of individual with absolutely no qualifications is being used to train our law enforcement to profile, to fear, and to hate Islam and Muslims. Last year, CARE Florida filed a public records request to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement so that we can see what kind of training our law enforcement officers are receiving on Islam. We did this in light of multiple reports of Florida Muslims complaining of being wrongfully harassed and profiled by law enforcement. Right here in Hillsborough, we have innocent, law-abiding Muslims being harassed by the Sheriff's Department simply because they are praying in public property uh, on their private time. You know, we have so many complaints of law-abiding Muslims being wrongfully harassed and profiled by the officers that took an oath to protect them. We believe this is un-American uh, and frankly illegal. So when we started getting these reports, we went ahead and CARE along with the uh, CARE offices nationwide, we filed over 87 public records requests to see what kind of training are our law enforcement officers getting that is making them uh, profile and mistreat the American Muslims they took an oath to protect and serve. And uh, frankly, we were completely shocked by, uh, by what we discovered. We were completely shocked by what we discovered. Uh, we discovered that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has helped pay thousands of dollars to Sam Koroba, an anti-Muslim bigot with a degree in computer science to train our law enforcement officers, allegedly that he was an expert on Islam and uh, Muslims and the Middle East and terrorism. Uh, and again, it's completely amazing that they're paying so much money for a guy with absolutely no credentials, no qualifications in Islam or the Middle East to train our officers on Islam and Muslims and to really just promote widespread stereotypes uh, and fear mongering of the Muslim community. Uh, thus, today, a coalition of over 30 of the leading Florida Muslim institutions and mosques have sent a letter to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement expressing our concern uh, regarding the inappropriate training, uh, training and the inappropriate use of Sam Koba 
and apparent lack of any guidelines and standards regarding uh, counterterrorism trainers. Again, we were shocked because when we saw that a guy like Sam Krobo with no degree, no education, no professional experience in Islam, uh, Islamic history, Islamic science in the Middle East, or in even terrorism, uh, is being paid thousands of dollars to, to train our officers, uh, we asked them, well, what kind of guidelines do you have? Can just any average Joe walk in uh, and, and train our officers? And what we discovered was there were no guidelines. You know, there's no guidelines as to how our community resources are being spent to train our law enforcement officers whose life, whose, our life is in their hands. And that's very disturbing, it's very scary. I, it makes us less safe and less free. Uh, so what is this letter asking? We're asking several things. And this letter, uh, we have copies, it's over 30 of the leading uh, Muslim organizations and mosques representing tens of thousands of Florida Muslims. Uh, the letter asks, one, that Sam Koroba not be approved to train anyone associated with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Second, we're asking that officers who received his training should be given accurate training by someone with appropriate credentials and accurate subject matter content. Third, we also recommend that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement adopt a policy that ensures individuals or companies offering counterterrorism training uh, to our law enforcement officers be vetted for academic credentials, operational experience, and accuracy of training. Again, we just want our officers to be empowered with accurate, relevant training, not fear-mongering and bigotry uh, by an unqualified person. We don't want the FDLE to be a platform for people to promote their hateful religious agenda. Again, we don't want the FDLE to be a platform for people to promote their hateful religious agenda. Um, and now going into this, we have two major issues. One, Choroba is completely unqualified as a subject matter expert. Choroba has neither the academic nor the operational background to qualify as a subject matter expert on Islam or counterterrorism training. Um, according to Choroba, uh, according to his biography, he has uh, an advanced level certificate of education in Arab culture. He has an advanced level certificate of education in Arab culture. Now that sounds impressive. Well, there's two problems with that. One, only a quarter of Muslims are Arab. So, you know, if, even if you have the best degree in Arab culture, that, that, that doesn't relate to Islam or Muslims or counterterrorism. Secondly, that kind of degree basically is like an AP course. It's not the equivalent of a bachelor's degree or even an associate's degree. It's high school level work that people do in preparation for college in the UK. You know, so saying somebody like Sam Horoba, because, and he also claims he spent 10, 15 years in the Middle East. Well, saying somebody like Horoba is, is qualified as an expert to teach about Islam and Muslims and the Middle East, is like saying, you know, any American that lives in America automatically is qualified to go abroad and teach other people as an expert on American history or Christianity. And we know, I mean, unfortunately, even half the high school students out there can't give you an accurate uh, understanding of American history. So, again, he's completely unqualified. Um, uh, furthermore, from an operational experience, uh, Sam Ho, uh, uh, he has no operational experience. Prior to starting his counterterrorism training, he, uh, he was limited to 15 years in software development. That's what he did for 15 years before he uh, deemed himself as an expert in counterterrorism training. Again, he completely lacks any qualifications to train our officers, especially for the hefty price he charges for such training. Uh, that's the first problem. So the first problem is one, he doesn't have qualifications. What's the second problem? His training is completely erroneous uh, and biased. Uh, let me show you uh, something from a copy of the book that we were able to receive by an investigator. This is the uh, a Law Enforcement Guide to Understanding Islamist Terrorism, the second edition. This is the book he's using to train uh, our Florida Department of Law Enforcement officers. We have digital copies uh, available. And let me show you what kind of I mean, fear-mongering and just inaccurate hatred he's, he's promoting against the Muslim community. And I'm just reading right from his book. This is what our officers are being given. This is what they're being trained. He said, most of us have heard statements familiar to Islam as a religion of peace and that Muslim radicals hijacked, twisted, and altered Islam to justify their jihad against non-Muslims. This book will provide definite proof contradicting these statements and allegations. So he's basically saying that the idea that Islam is a peaceful religion and that terrorists hijack Islam is completely false. That Islam is inherently an evil religion. And we'll get into some of his other quotes here, but I just wanted to show you something from the book itself. Uh, Haroba has gone on publicly saying, anyone who says that Islam is a religion of peace is either ignorant or flat out lying. 
he says that Islam is a very uh, is a is a highly violent and radical religion. And basically, I mean, having somebody like Koroba teach about Islam is like having uh, a Muslim extremist teach about Christianity. You know, you have this big, uh, 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 frankly Christian extremist, anti-Muslim extremist, using the FDLA as a platform to dispute hatred and to uh, against Islam to really propagate his own faith. It's it's unconstitutional. It's illegal. It undermines our safety. Uh, the author of a series of articles published in the Broward uh, Bulldog in June 2011 made similar observations, and they write, Haroba claims radicals can be identified by 10 to 12 physical markers, such as headbands, types of facial hair, or a prayer bump on the forehead from frequent contact with the prayer mat. You know, one of our clients, they said the officer was uh, investigating which hand, right, which hand the, uh, the, he, he wears his watch on. Because according to Haroba, this officer in Hillsborough County was trained that if a Muslim wears his watch on the right hand, he must be an extremist. It's completely nonsensical. You know, or that you have a facial hair, you're, you must be an extremist. Well, I mean, how many of the 9-11 hijackers had facial hair? This doesn't make us any safer. It doesn't make us any freer. Uh, the book we use, A Law Enforcement Guide to Understanding Islamist Terrorism, Horoba's main training manual, combines file accusations against Islam, sweeping generalizations targeting all Muslims, and factual inaccuracies. Um, and one of the things that really troubled us is the kind of responses that the trainees had about Islam and Muslims after attending these trainings. Um, these are quotes that we, uh, uh, that, that we received from, from feedback from those that sent us trainings. They said, this presentation can be very useful in knowing that Shias are more radical than Sunnis. Now, I'm a Sunni, but I'm extremely offended by that statement. Extremely offended. It's, uh, you know, again, it's just uh, promoting broad generalizations. Um, they said, go, uh, one of the officers who attended, he said, going to make sure we have completed a survey of existing Muslim population and have a clear understanding of their properties. So they're saying, that, oh great, after this presentation we want to do another NYPD scenario. We want to go and map the Muslim community. Again, the pilgrims sailed the ocean blue to escape government entanglement and involvement in per uh, people's personal religious practices. So it's very disturbing. Uh, we have a couple more points, and then we'll have Bishop Chuck Lee, and then we'll open the question and answer. The other points we want to make is that the U.S. Senators Lieberman and Collins uh, say Haroba quotes are not made by adequately trained personnel. Senator Lieberman, Senator Collins have already said that his training is inappropriate. Uh, following revelations about Haroba's training last year, the chairman and ranking member of the U.S. Senate uh, Committee on Homeland Security and Government Affairs sent a letter uh, of concern to Attorney General Eric Holder and the Department of Homeland Security Secretary uh, uh, Napoltiano. The letter quotes Koroba and then says, the comments of his, of course, are neither factually accurate nor consistent with our nation's fundamental values. Amazing. Why is the FPLE facilitating training for an individual who uh, the, uh, members of, uh, of the Senate and Congress have already said his training are factually inaccurate and, and fundamentally contradictory to our values? It doesn't make sense. Uh, federal affil uh, officials are already purging similar biased training and inaccurate materials. Attorney General Eric Holder and the FBI Director Mueller are both on record criticizing such trainings. Uh, Attorney Gen uh, General Eric Holder noted that they hurt both the community-oriented uh, uh, policing and counterterrorism efforts. Um, and basically, Mueller wanted uh, these kind of trainings purged from the FBI. So if this training isn't good enough for the FBI, why is it acceptable to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement? Uh, similarly, the Joint Chiefs of Chairman General Martin Dempsey called an anti-Muslim training objectionable and academically irresponsible. And we believe the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has been extremely irresponsible in using somebody like Sam Corbo with no qualifications to spread hatred against a religious minority in our community. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, we would never tolerate law enforcement officers uh, uh, teaching stereotypes about other minorities nor should we tolerate it when it comes to Islam and Muslims. Uh, Haroba's training actually makes our country less safe and less free. It makes us less safe because it wastes our resources, it wastes our uh, uh, law enforcement uh, 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 officials. Let me repeat that. It makes us less safe because it wastes our country's resources and it promotes profiling, which is ineffective and inaccurate. And while they're wasting their time talking to people because they're religion, real criminals can be getting by. It makes us less free because, again, the pilgrims sailed the ocean blue to get away from governments that treated, different, uh, treated you differently because of your religion. Uh, this, frank, this kind of training offends us as Americans. It offends me as a lawyer before it even offends me against, as a Muslim. 
because it, it's completely contradictory to our ideals of religious freedom and freedom from government entanglement in religion. So to summarize uh, this up, Kharoba has a complete lack of credentials and he makes sweeping generalizations. This undermines our law enforcement and we demand the Florida Department of Law Enforcement completely uh, cease using such inappropriate training and offer proper guidelines so that our law enforcement officers are receiving proper training on Islam and Muslims. Thank you. Uh, Bishop Chuck Lee. Thank you. <coughs> I'm Bishop Chuck Lee. I know you have to know how to spell Chuck. My last name is L-E-I-G-H, not what you were thinking. Uh, I'm president of the Florida Council of Churches, and I'm a, uh, on the governing board of the National Council of Churches, and I'm a presiding bishop of the Apostolic Catholic Church. I, I want to tell you, uh, both for myself and for the Apostolic Catholic Church, uh, we have a great sense of outrage about this. And, you know, it seems like a very minor issue, uh, because there are all kinds of funny trainings that the police will go through. One of my daughters is a, a, a police officer in Illinois, uh, and she's always telling me how most of the training is, is just something they go away for for fun. Uh, but, and, and I don't really mind police women, police women having a good time in the training. But when we're spending our money for bigotry in these very difficult economic times, it just is wrong headed, isn't it? But from my own point of view, from the point of view of my church, I will tell you that when you lie and mislead about another faith, you offend the very heart of Christianity. Now you and I both know that a lot of Christians do that. Just like a lot of Muslims don't follow their faith. But when we do that, we kind of deny who we are. And, and the very purpose for which Christ is honored in our faith, by which he came here for. I find it difficult to understand how we can hope to live with people of a different faith when we deliberately mislead others about who and what they are. There's a lot about Islam that I don't believe or agree with. But I would never, never deliberately lie about who or what they are. And I think most Muslims would not do that for me. And there certainly aren't some that would. But to say every Muslim lies, every Muslim is a terrorist, it's the same thing as we know there are a whole lot of Christians that lie. Some of them we elect office, don't we? But every Christian doesn't lie, do they? And our faith does not approve that. What it does approve is a great and abiding love that is God towards others. It's you never, never show love when you encourage people to hate or dislike or marginalize someone else. You might say, well, what am I doing here? This really is a, this is a Muslim issue. Well, he's thinking in his head, well, maybe it is. But Christians are asked to stand with those who are being oppressed, no matter who they are. And this is a very, very deep oppression. And I'm an old man. I'm not quite as old as to remember the Nazis, but almost. But I believe that what they started with was training the police on how to identify Jewish people and emphasizing the point that they were criminals. Now when you, when you sort of say profile, look at Muslims, they're not people of peace, what are you really telling a policeman? Police will go and stop them because they're the people in your pages to, to, to arrest. <coughs> I, I, I'm really much offended by this, and I hope you are. But more importantly, I think God's offended by it. 
and I certainly don't want to stand by in front of him and say, I didn't object when this happened. It's really hard to follow after people that are really good speakers and have a lot to say. Uh, and, and I really can't tell you a lot about this man's uh, credentials, but you know something funny, when I first read the information, so that sure sounds like an Arabic name. I guess it's not really. But, but um, I can say that when you attack the credibility of another faith, and what you're saying is not true, you attack the credibility of Christianity and of Jesus Christ. That is not a Christian value. That's not even a human value. I guess you can ask them all questions. I'm not very good at answering them. I don't have a lot of answers. Thank you.